JP. I'm here on behalf of BoricuaBoxing.com. I'm here with Harold Letterman from HBO Sports. Harold, these two guys are both coming off for of losses. I would like to ask you a two-part question about that. One, is this something the fans are looking forward to? And two, do you think it's going to live up to top ranks expectations? Well, I think the fans are looking forward to it, definitely. I mean, you know, it's two exciting fighters up against each other. It should be a great fight. Uh, what was what was the second question now? And do you think it's going to live up to the, the expectations of the event? Oh, without doubt. I mean, you know, there's, there's no doubt. I mean, you, you got two guys that come to fight, two warriors. They'll definitely live up to the expectations. There's no doubt about it. Now, I asked Brandon Rios about uh, Pacquiao's uh, uh, southpaw stance in combination with his uh, speed and power and how he's going to re respond to that. How do you think he's going to react to it in the ring? Well, I mean, it, there's no doubt that Brandon Rios only knows one way to fight and that's coming straight forward. He's going to try and back up on Manny Pacquiao the whole fight. He's just going to take it to him, you know. That's the way he always fights. That's the way he's going to fight in this fight. Okay. And I would also like to ask you about the next Miguel Cotto fight against Delvin Rodriguez. How do you think that's going to play out? Um, do you feel like, you know... Delvin's a tough guy, but Miguel Cotto is something special, you know. I think he's looking to avoid, to avenge the loss, the loss the trap. Uh, I, I really believe he's going to look very, very good with Delvin. I mean, Delvin's going to have to fight a super fight to get by Miguel Cotto in Orlando. I think that... Miguel Cotto should look very, very good with Delvin Rodriguez. How do you feel about the uh, combination now of Miguel Cotto working with Freddie Roach? Do you think that's a good combination? Yeah, Miguel needed another trainer. There's no doubt about it. I, I think that Freddie Roach is about as good as they get. And I think Miguel will do real good in the wild card because he's so sparring. Okay. Now, they'll also be showcasing uh, Zhu Shimmy on the undercard on November 23rd. What do you, what do you, what's your opinion on this uh, Chinese superstar. I mean, I've seen him twice. I, you know, I'm not terribly impressed, but you know, he's stepping up to an eight-round fight. So hopefully, it'll be a little bit more exciting than he's been in the first two fights. You know, but uh, we'll see. Now, Aaron is talking about using dancing and, and fireworks and fire and and things like that to make it like a you know like a big show for, for I guess you know the casual fan. Do you think uh, that that that's good for boxing, or is it too theatrical for you? Should it be more about the fight, or it, it adds to the show? I mean, it's not that about it. It's exciting, you know. It adds a little, you know. It's not what the boxing fans are looking for, but even still, uh, it's a little bit better. I mean, you know, certainly ain't gonna do no harm. I think it'll be fun. Okay, well, Harold, I'd like to thank you for your time.